All right. Hopefully you know how to offset walls by six and a half inches by now. Um, for this second floor drawing, again, you're gonna start up here at the origin and you're gonna come down 44 feet. Then you can come over to the right, you're 32 feet, up, over, up, over, up, and back. And then offset and fill it. Um, what I'm gonna help you with on this drawing is the fireplace chimney. The fireplace chimney uh, is this tiny little rectangle that sticks down here in the corner. Um, it starts 10 feet 8 inches in from the bottom right hand corner. Uh, from the wall it comes down 2 feet 8. Uh, it's 2 feet 8 inches wide and then comes up. It's going to stick into our home a little bit. Uh, 3 feet 4 inches and then it just kind of closes itself on out. A real quick and easy way how to draw that is by using our extension tool. Uh, it's default on AutoCAD. So if you just draw a line don't click but hover over that endpoint and then slowly move your mouse to the left you get those green dot 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 extensions if I want to come in the 10 feet 8 inches that the book told us I can just type in 10 feet 8 and it'll start my line 10 feet 8 inches in from that corner that I had my mouse on I can just bring it down 2 feet 8 over to the left 2 feet 8 straight up the three foot four and then I'm just gonna come a little bit back to the left what I can do now is use my fillet and trim tool to clean up that corner on the modify tab if I choose fillet I can go ahead and choose those two edges and then if I choose trim I can get rid of the two interior lines of the wall it's pretty quick and easy once you get used to the commands uh, one thing that a lot of students might have missed, and one thing that I didn't do on purpose, was put these objects in the correct layer. They need to be in the A wall layer. If you set up your units to be imperial, if you set up your units to be architectural, uh, one thing we might have missed was setting up our layer to be A wall. To do so, after the fact that we drew them, we can create that new layer and name it a dash wall. And then we can select all of our objects. What happens then is we can go to our properties of these objects by clicking on the properties tab and then choosing the layer drop down and choose a wall. Just like AutoCAD, it used to be up top. If we didn't put something into the correct layer when we drew it, we can always change the object's properties after the fact. Reach out to me if you have any questions. Don't forget to save your work. And we'll be posting the interior walls coming up soon.